Welcome to the orthodontist. You've made a great choice by choosing a specialist in orthodontics. Did you know that an orthodontist is a dental specialist that has not only completed college and four years of dental school, but also completed an additional two to three year residency program of advanced education in orthodontics. An orthodontist has learned the skills that are required to treat the misalignment of teeth and facial development with braces, aligners, and other methods. Only a dentist that has completed the additional years of training and education after dental school can be considered an orthodontist. Now that you know you're in good hands, let's take a look at the benefits of orthodontic treatment. Most people think of orthodontics as improving the appearance of the teeth, but orthodontic treatment is about more than just how teeth look. Orthodontic treatment leads to better overall dental health by straightening crooked and overlapping teeth and correcting bites which are unhealthy for your teeth and jaw joints. An incorrect bite can lead to premature wear, damage, or loss of teeth. A correct bite is important for chewing, eating, and speaking. Your orthodontist will make sure you have a beautiful smile and a great bite. In a healthy bite, the back teeth mesh together properly. For this to occur, the upper teeth need to be slightly wider than the lower teeth. The upper front teeth should be slightly in front of and slightly overlap the lower front teeth. When this occurs, the bite can function in a healthy manner. So sit back and relax. You're in good hands, the hands of an orthodontist. Let's take a look at some bites that would benefit from orthodontic treatment. Crossbite. In a crossbite, the upper teeth are not wide enough to fit on the outside of the lower teeth. This makes it difficult to bring the teeth together. The lower jaw or teeth may have to shift to one side to make the teeth fit together. Excessive overjet. In an excessive overjet, the upper teeth are too far in front of the lower teeth. If the amount of the overjet is severe, the front teeth may be subject to injury and speech may be affected. Underbite. An underbite is when the upper teeth are inside or not in front of the lower teeth, which makes it difficult to cut food and causes premature wear of the back teeth. Deep bite. Sometimes referred to as an overbite. A deep bite is when the upper front teeth cover the lower teeth and the lower teeth bite into the roof of the mouth. This type of bite causes difficulty in the movement of the lower jaw and may cause premature wear of the front teeth. Open bite. An open bite is when the front teeth do not touch. This makes cutting or incising food difficult or impossible. The back teeth are always touching and subject to premature wear. This type of bite also causes speech problems and tongue thrusting problems during swallowing. Since unhealthy bites are often the result of improper jaw size, orthodontic problems may also be associated with facial appearance and may require surgery to correct. A balanced face is appealing in appearance. When the jaws or face develop incorrectly, it causes the misalignment of teeth. These development issues not only affect the bite, but also the facial appearance. Here you can see the lower jaw has not developed enough, causing a retruded or no chin appearance. In this example, the upper jaw has grown too far forward. This causes straining when closing the lips. And here the upper jaw has grown too far forward and down. This causes a gummy smile. With orthodontic correction, each of these facial development issues have been corrected, the face balanced, and a healthy bite achieved. Each person is a unique blend of these various characteristics. I know this is a lot of information about teeth, but the important thing to remember is that all of the problems we have shown you today and many others are routinely treated and corrected in our office. Today, the doctor will perform a thorough examination to determine your orthodontic needs. If treatment is indicated at this time, Orthodontic records will be needed to more accurately plan your personalized treatment. Your orthodontic records may consist of some or all of the following. Models. Impressions or scans are taken of your teeth and models are created which allow the doctor to make accurate measurements. Photographs. Photographs are taken of your teeth and face. Radiographs. 
A panoramic radiograph allows the doctor to see the condition of your roots, jaw joints, and problems with development such as ectopic or impacted teeth. A head radiograph, also called a cephalometric, allows the doctor to determine the position of the jaws and teeth. 3D or cone beam images may also be needed. A word or two about radiographs and radiation exposure. The development of digital radiography has dramatically reduced a patient's exposure to radiation. With newer digital machines or digital processing, exposure for an orthodontic radiographic series is equivalent to two to four days of natural background radiation. Compare that to a flight from New York to LA, which is equivalent to three to six days of natural background radiation. Your orthodontist is a dentist that is specially trained in correcting facial and dental irregularities. Armed with diagnostic information, your orthodontist will develop a specialized treatment plan based on your specific needs. Once you have completed orthodontic treatment, your orthodontist will have given you a smile for a lifetime.